To anyone who watched my box office numbers yesterday, they might have noticed I said that Las Vegas is Kevin Klein's last movie. I'm not saying Kevin Klein is, de is a bad actor. I'm not saying he's retiring. I'm not making any absolutes. I am simply pointing out that all four of these guys are old. Really old. Incredibly old. Way too old to do a boxing movie or be married to Catherine Zeta-Jones. Cue title scene. I got this old guitar. The strings are rusty, but it's... That's right, people. It's Vegas, baby. City of gambling, hookers, mobsters. Or at least it was. Nowadays, Vegas is actually a very popular vacation stop for families, world-traveling tourists, and people who need to go to a pawn shop. But, where does this film fall on that? Because many of these actors, believe it or not, have done gangster-style movies in Vegas. So, what does that make Last Vegas? Does it make it a comedy that pays homage to these guys' careers? Does it make it its own original movie that needed the big names to promote it? Or does it make it just a quick cash grab for a couple extra bucks so, so that way these actors can get on to their next movies? My answer? All of the above. This film is, um, it's kind of like what you kind of want grown-ups to be. Where it's these actors, comedians, in, the, in grown ups case, comedians, being themselves on screen and doing things the way they want. In Grown Ups, this is all just dumbed down to appeal to the lowest common denominator. Here, I definitely felt like it was these actors getting to be themselves, getting to play characters that are very close to them, and getting to really sort of pay homage. There's a couple little references in there to previous roles they've done. And I just felt... This is what the movie's about. Is this movie for everyone? No. Um, this is a tough one. The thing is, I walked out of this film satisfied, but then the more I thought about it, the more it kind of hit me. This film isn't exactly funny, as much as it is just kind of like a refreshing. You know, because the thing is, the plot is exactly what you think it is, in that it's exactly how these actors are. Michael Douglas is marrying a chick like half his age, if not more, I think. Um, like, I think she's supposed to be in her 30s. Morgan Freeman tells probably one of the few funny jokes in the film. He says that I've passed kidney stones older than that. That's in the trailer and all the commercials. It's not spoiling. But that's in itself the problem. All the jokes are the same. It's not like in The Expendables where all the jokes are, you know, based around the actors and the careers they've had. But at least there, there's fun, brainless action in it. And in the case of Grown Ups, they're comedians, so it's their own jokes. I mean, Grown Ups fails miserably. This falls somewhere in the middle. Because the problem you get is you want to like these people because they're so recognizable, but the kind of problem you get is it doesn't really work as its own movie. If you just got four random old guys to do it, no one would watch this. The reason this movie exists is so that way you could take four screen legends, put them together, and let them have a little fun. Will you have fun with this movie? Possibly. Did I? Yeah, but I'm the type of person where I care about actors. If you're the average everyday person who's got their own problems, just wait for Thor. This movie is very specific to the audience it's trying to appeal to. Um, it, it is... The commercials don't even make it look that great. That's part of the problem. And when it comes down to it, if you're not a fan of these actors, don't go. It's just, it's a fine little film. For what it is, it's all right. It's worth checking out on cable in a couple months. I don't recommend spending ten bucks for it. Just wait for it to come out. Enjoy it. Laugh a little bit. And enjoy seeing all these actors. They all got a few good one-liners. And you'll just have an okay feeling, which... Come on, for ten bucks, you want to feel amazed. I'm going to give this film a solid six out of ten on the comedy scale. But again... That really only appeals to people who are into the kind of humor they do. Now, it gets a six because I liked it, and the actors are good, but if you come out of this film thinking, you know, this film sucks, it's a one out of ten, I totally see where you're coming from. 
I'm just saying for me personally, it got this rating because it was funny. And which one of these actors appeals to you the most? That's right, that's today's question. That was a terrible segue, but no one's going to remember this movie. Yeah, so in the comments below, tell me which one of these four guys is your favorite, what's their favorite movie of yours, and if you want to hear me talk about Thor in a few days when that comes out and I basically get awestruck, subscribe below. And until then, avoid Vegas, because there's probably still guys with guns there, especially if you go near the Luxor. Don't ask me how I know that.